Okay, um, you've heard in the uh, targeted individual community about um, how they have, uh, through ISA Act, they do RF scanning to see if, if you have uh, chips in you or not. And they have people um, who are going all across the world to meet with the people at ISA Act. And um, okay, um, I know the people watching this video know about targeted individuals and they know about mind control and all of those subjects. And um, there's a group uh, called ISA Act, isaact.org, who is um, interviewing people who are from all across the world who. They're traveling uh, far distances to meet with ISAAC, and uh, ISAAC claims that they do RF scanning, and the RF scanning is, is a big part of the proof, according to them, of that uh, a person is shipped. Um, one of the things I'd like to show is that you really don't need um, any expensive device to, to determine the basics of this um, RF uh, frequency scanning. You could use something like, I'm just going to show you here, it's just a regular, it, I know it's dark in here, but uh, it's just a regular radio. That's all it is, just a regular radio. And um, you'll see when I turn this on, the effects depending on where I place it toward um, my body. So I'm going to turn this radio on. And okay. Okay. I'm not sure if the volume is coming through, but depending on where it is placed, you're getting different effects. This right, if you listen here. In this spot on my right side of my rib cage, different effect. Um, this this spot right here is where um, I received I I had I, I had gotten a head injury and I went to a hospital. So when when you take the radio and place it here, I don't know if you could hear that. But it, but dependent on the location it's placed, it's sort of like a, like a oscillating sound. And then if I take the radio away, like if I put the radio by my computer, all right, there you got a signal right in the computer. And then on this side, this is the, the computer signal. All right, now my legs. There's just the right, just the regular. But then, you see, when I place it on this side, different sound. On this side, different sound. Within, um, within the brain region is the most. The, the signal goes, uh, it goes dead when it hits any part of my head. Now, if I put it on my skin, not my brain region, but it's a di whole different reaction, and then on my head. I mean, if you want to say because my hair is there, I don't know, but you can you can tell that there's signals traveling, like like um, behind the ears. There's um, but it but there's different frequencies hitting, and you can stand in a different spot and and it, like <laughs> I'm going off the camera here, but um. It's also dependent on which spot you're in when the signal travels. But but the one the one right here, if I, I don't, I'm gonna have to go through this video to see how well. I'm gonna try to probably make a few of these before I uh, release the final video to try to explain. But um, if you notice on this side where my heart region is, nothing. On this side, there's like an oscillating. And then again, just the regular sound, and then on this side you hear an oscillator.